witches, welcome to shadow work day number six. Um, today we're going to just jump right in and today's prompt is what or which practices do you wish to incorporate into your current practice? So what do you want to start incorporating in? Now I know we talked about this like with what is my ideal practice? What does that look like? And all of that from Monday. But um, this is like specifically zeroing in on like, like a bullet point list or whatever you would like to incorporate into your practice. So the number one for me is a uh, daily yoga practice. I really have a lot of problems like with my physical body. <laughs> um, I am just constantly like creaky and I'm 24, so I shouldn't be. I have like very chronic like joint issues and inflammation issues. So by practicing yoga, not only am I strengthening my like mind, but like my body. So by engaging in that yoga practice, which I actually started this week, I'm very proud of myself. Um, I'm not only working on my physical self, but I have all of my deity candles lit up. I light incense for them as an offering. And I spend some time in prayer before and after. So that's something that is becoming part of my daily practice and it's something that I want to continue because I've started that multiple times and then just like petered out after the third day so we're not doing that we're doing it we're gonna do yoga every day I'm doing it yes um the next thing that I want to do um and this is probably gonna be like in 2022 but and a couple of these are really um but the next thing that I want to do is invest in getting my like master herbalist license um or like certificate whatever that little piece of paper I it seems kind of silly and I know everyone's like oh a diploma is just a piece of paper but it's also like for me a sign of like achievement and I I just I want it um so I found, um, I'm kind of still researching it. I found a really cool one that I want to do, I think, um, but I'm saving up money for it. I'm just like tattoo herbalism. Herbalism is what I should do, but tattoos are awesome. And I'm like, yeah, uh, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I will be like, I, I am going to invest in that because I think it's something that's very important. To, well, it's important to me and it's something I've always wanted to do. Like I've always wanted to be an herbalist. Like I've always wanted to learn about it. So I'm doing it in 2022. I'm, I'm doing it. Um, and I will fill you guys in on that as I go. Like I think it would be fun to kind of like, um, like film myself during the process of it and just like the studying and all of that. I just, I love, I'm very much into like that dark academia type of um, vibe, especially in the fall and winter. Um, so I I love like study sessions and like the studying live streams or like journaling live. I just, I know it's dumb, but I like it. So I don't care. <laughs> um, anyways, speaking of 2022, another thing that I really, really want to like start to incorporate maybe um, or try is at least try it i'll say i'll give it a try but i really want to try reiki i know that's very woo woo and it's not something that i normally am attracted to but i i'm just curious i've never had it done i feel like it's something that like i need like as a witch should um though not everyone believes in reiki or like practices it or like you don't have to practice it in order to be a witch as always like that's not what i'm saying um but <laughs> I, I've always wanted to try it and there's like two around here and then a friend of mine does it like at her store I believe and she does like sound healing and stuff so I might book a session with her I might book a session with someone like a complete stranger just because like oh my gosh what if I get like weird about it like I just anyways I'm probably gonna go to her though because she's like super nice and like very like open and like welcoming so anyways um I'm coming at you <laughs> but I <laughs> I'm very excited to do I'm, I'm very excited to try it um and it's something that I've never done before so I will definitely report back and we'll talk about it yeah um the next thing on my list is something that I did mention before and it's working closely with the lunar cycle I think I've mentioned that in the last couple of videos actually I'm just very focused on it um so I am going to be like dedicating myself and I kind of did it during the new moon but like this month especially I'm really going to be working very closely by the moon cycle so like getting all of this stuff done now that I need to do to finish out the rest of like December, basically. Um, I wanna do that during the waxing moon cycle, which is like right now. Um, and then after the full moon is we're, when we're talking about like self care and stuff, I'm actually going to be like actively participating in those things, doing the spell work and like, well, not that I did it before, but like, um, like really doing it on a very regimented basis, which I know is like the opposite of self care for some people, but I like organization. So I like schedules and stuff. Um, 
So that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, and then the final thing I want to talk about today, um, things that I wish to incorporate into my current practice. I, in 2022, want to teach a class in person, like at a metaphysical store. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it's about, but I, I'm starting to work up a curriculum. Um, and it's something that I've been like churning around in my head. I just need to get it down on paper. But I want to do kind of like an intro to witchcraft course, an intermediate course, and then an advanced course. So um, I'm going to cook everything up <laughs> and um, I want to like pitch it to a couple different stores just to see. Even if I get all no's, which I, I don't think so. Like, I'm not going to get all no's. There's no way. I'm just that good. No, I'm just kidding. But um, I, I really don't. I, I think that there's a big demand for it. Um, I, I Even if I get all no's, it doesn't matter. It's still something that I did. Um, but it's something that's very important to me. I don't know why it's so important to me, but I just really feel like it's kind of my calling to teach. And like, this is great. I love virtual learning. And I think it's awesome that you guys are like on this journey with me. Like, I love it. Um, and I'm not invalidating this at all, don't get me wrong. But like for me personally, like there's something about like being in a classroom and being like surrounded by everybody. And it's like that like energy, I guess, um, that I really just, I want to experience at least once in my life. So um, that is something that I wish to incorporate into my current practice and something that hopefully like going forward, I can start teaching more and more in-person classes um, as you know, the whole, panini thing happens to dissipate hopefully very soon so um yes that those are the practices i wish to incorporate into mine i would love to hear about yours um so leave them in the comments below my inbox is open everywhere and other than that i'll see you guys tomorrow